What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on the 450 SS. As you can see, we're sitting in the garage. We're going to be fixing that because that's pretty rough. So we are going to get started on this. We do have all the tools that we need right here. We have two 13 millimeter wrenches, a 21 socket, a 19 socket, a tape measure to measure the slack, and then I do have a torque wrench over there as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. I already know that I'm sitting almost two inches of slack and you really only want about one. So let's go ahead and check this real quick and then we'll get started. So as you can see, I have the chain sitting right on the eight inch mark. And when I push it up, we're almost all the way to the 10 mark. Almost, uh, I don't know, I'd say we're actually right at the 10 mark. So I'm gonna say we definitely need to worry about this right now. So we went ahead and loosened the axle nut and we loosened the lock nut on both sides. So now this is loose and we just turn this nut right here and we turn it in to righty tighty and that will bring the axle back and tension the chain more. So as you saw, I just tightened this and it brings this back. So now I'm just gonna make sure that these, this dot right here, I don't know if you can see it, this dot will line up on the same line on both sides and then I'll check the chain tension again. So I got them both. I got them both to this line right here, this third line. So now let's check. Right now we are sitting, let's get a good angle. At the nine, oh, we got, we have a little, we actually tensioned it a little bit too much. So we need to come back off just a little bit. All right, so I, I moved the bike a little bit and I loosened up just a little bit more. So now we're just slightly before this mark. And look where we're at. We are almost right at an inch. I'd say we're pretty dang close. Okay, so as you can see, I have this one right in the center. And I have this one right in the center. It's the third mark in center of the hole. It's really hard to get on camera, but there we go. However, I have right at, I have right at one inch here, which is what it says that I need. So now we just have to tighten up the axle and we should be good to go. I need to get torque wrench out and figure out what I need to put it at. Okay, so this axle nut here the manual says 105 to 110 Newton meters, which equates to about 77 to 81 foot pounds. But I'm a little bit confused because if you look online, all the forums, everybody says, do not tighten it that much. You'll break the wheels, the axle bolt and so on and so forth. So I don't really know what to do here. So I'm just going to say, screw it and go 75 foot pounds. And I hope that's good. Guess we'll find out in a minute. Okay, so good news is I did 75 foot pounds and it felt comfortable and it looks about where it was whenever I started. So I'm happy with it. I will check it again after a couple of rides though because I'm not entirely 100% certain about it. That being said, uh, I think we're good. I think we're done. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the way that this went. 